welcome. At this time, we ask that you stand for our presentation of colors and singing of the national anthem by Lincoln College Prep Choir. Thank you, everyone. Please be seated. Good evening, parents, family members, students, staff, and distinguished guests. We are gathered tonight to commensurate and celebrate this milestone for each member of Lincoln College Preparatory Academy's senior class of 2022. <laughs> Seniors. Seniors. Seniors, we are here to celebrate the culmination of all that you have accomplished over the last four years, but you have not been on this journey alone. At this time, seniors, please take a moment to show your gratitude for all the members of your family and your Lincoln community who have helped you arrive. Over the last four years, I've gotten to know members of Lincoln's class of 2022 fairly well. This class of students can be described as resilient, passionate, and responsible. Seniors, you began your freshman year in 2018 in a world that is much different than the one we live in today. COVID was not really in our vocabulary. Patrick Mahomes had not yet won a second Super Bowl for the Chiefs. And the number one song on the Billboard 100 was Drake in Your Feelings, which that is a pretty good one. Despite all of the challenges presented during your high school tenure, you are here this evening to prove that resiliency in numbers can overcome great obstacles. Your passion for your Lincoln Blue Tiger community has manifested in the many clubs, organizations, and social causes that you have organized, a characteristic that will serve you well after graduating this evening. Lastly, seniors, you are responsible. This is demonstrated not only by your commitment to the hard work required for you to graduate from one of the best schools in our region, state, and country, but also in your accountability toward one another and our community. As you begin the next chapter of your lives, keep in mind what Gandhi said, that you will be responsible for the change you want to see in the world, and each of you is well equipped for success. As a graduating member of the class of 2022, you have the power to affect change in any arena of your choosing. We are at a time in our world where your efforts to make a positive impact are frankly, eminently important. You have been the leaders in our district, city, state, and nation in various capacities over the last four years. 
Among you are future teachers, doctors, lawyers, engineers, politicians, activists, athletes, all of you contributing to a part of our shared world. Take this moment to reflect on who you are today and who you want to become, knowing that you have the tools for success in any endeavor that you pursue. As you move forward, do not forget the power of your resiliency, passion, and responsibility. Now let's begin our graduation ceremony for our Lincoln College Preparatory Academy class of 2022. Good evening. I'm Vanita Pearson, Vice Principal of Lincoln College Preparatory Academy, and I have the pleasure of introducing our esteemed Board of Directors, Superintendent of Schools, and the Executive Cabinet members of Kansas City Public Schools. The Kansas City Public School Board, Directors, Board of Directors, Nate Hogan, Manuel Abarca, Rita Cortez, Marvia Jones, Jennifer Wolsey, Candace Buckner, and Tanisha Ford. Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Mark T. Bedell. Kansas City Public Schools Cabinet Members, Dr. Jennifer Collier, Deputy Superintendent. Linda Quinley, Chief Financial and Operational Officer. David Rand, Executive Director of Research and Accountability. Jordan Gordon, Executive Director of Human Resources. William Thornton, Chief Legal Counsel. Kelly Wachel, Chief Marketing Communications Officer. Dr. Letitia Woodley, Executive Director of Student Support Services. Mr. Ulysses Vasquez, Chief Technical Officer. And Dr. Lloyd Jackson, Assistant Superintendent. Welcome families, guests, staff, and of course, graduates. At this time, it's my distinct honor to recognize some of our most outstanding students. But first, I would like to highlight the amount of money this senior class was awarded through grants and scholarships. This year's graduates received a total of $15,768,173. Lincoln Prep is home to the best and brightest students in Kansas City. Along with our valedictorians and salutatorian honors, we also recognize the top 10 ranking grade point averages among the senior class. These scholars are designated in your programs with a top 10 symbol and are wearing white cords. Will the top 10 seniors of the class of 2022 please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, thank you. You may be seated, thank you. For the last two years, Lincoln International Baccalaureate Diploma candidates have followed the most rigorous curriculum that KCPS has to offer. IB Diploma candidates think critically to solve complex problems, drive their own learning through independent investigations, and develop skills to engage with people in an increasingly globalized and rapidly changing world. In addition to the six cumulative exams that each student takes to demonstrate their learning, they must complete 150 hours of community service and write a 4,000 word research paper over the topic of their choice. Full IB diploma candidates are wearing IB stoles. Will the IB diploma candidates please stand and be recognized? Congratulations, you may be seated. Early College Academy, a partnership between the Kansas City Public Schools and Metropolitan Community College, affords students the opportunity to complete their high school diploma while attending classes full-time on the college campus in order to simultaneously earn their associate's degree. These dedicated, hardworking students are designated in your program with the Early College Academy symbol and are wearing blue and silver braided cords. ECA students, please stand to be recognized. Congratulations, you may be seated. We would now like to name the recipients for the Superintendent Scholarship. 
The superintendent scholarship was established by Superintendent Mark Bedell for graduating seniors who have thrived academically while facing extremely adverse conditions, making it difficult to pursue secondary education. This scholarship can be used for trade schools as well as traditional colleges and universities. The recipient of this year's superintendent scholarship goes to four of our students. Each of the four recipients, please come to the stage at this time to receive your recognition. Tracy Bradford. Robert Hill. Manana Nareni. And Tariah Roberson. Tracy plans on continuing her education by majoring in nursing at the University of Missouri, Kansas City. Robert plans on attending Howard University and majoring in business and marketing. Manana will attend Portland Community College and major in business and marketing. Tariah will attend the University of Central Missouri to become a professional pilot. Please join me in congratulating our scholars on this special distinction. Graduation night is the culmination of years of hard work, academic achievement, and persistence. We applaud all of our students who accomplished this goal, but especially the students who are at the top of their class, our valedictorians and salutatorians. Valedictorian is the academic title conferred upon the highest ranking student in the grade point average, and the title of salutatorian is conferred upon the second highest ranking student in the class. At this time, we will hear from Lincoln College Preparatory Academy's valedictorians and salutatorians. We can all agree that the last four years have been a lot. Reading that now, honestly, that might be an understatement. That's why it's easy to start packing up the last few years in a box, ready to leave it all in a closet or bury it as a time capsule. I started feeling the same as I saw graduation creeping up on me. However, when I was packing up my box, expecting it to collect dust for the years to come, I wondered how much of it was as bad as I remembered. After all, I'm a pessimist by nature, so why not take a moment to be an optimist after reaching the first peak in my life? Honestly, not much changed when taking a second look. Events that seemed good or bad remained so. It was rather the things in the middle that intrigued me. In the moment, if they didn't fit in the category of good or bad, they were pushed to the side as things that just happened. What else can you do when you're so busy with everything else? The thresholds were so strictly defined that being just close enough to one of the extremes isn't enough to make it past the gray area. This made me think about why we spend so much time creating strict divides when it doesn't do anything for us in the long run. If you can create a slider that connects good from bad, how different are they really? Obviously, they are the extremes, but if they're connected, why do we have to be so bitter towards an arbitrary section of it? You, can ha you can't have one without the other. There are two sides to the same coin. It takes a bad event to divine something as good since they are linked. For example, if I asked you what a good teacher looks like, it might be hard to come up with an answer right away. But if I ask the same question just a little differently, you can see how much easier it comes to you. The revised question is, how does a bad teacher, or what does a bad teacher look like to you? Many people would instantly have an answer and some teacher's names that are attached to those characteristics. So if you look at the answer and verse it, you can paint the picture of a good teacher. My point is, 
it's easy to start with the negative things because we, cr we hold what is good as such a high standard, we crave it in a concentrated form. We're addicts who want that perfect mango so badly we'll ignore good apples that are on sale next to us and are more likely to be in season. When you're in front of a crowd, we can all agree that giving your all is hard. When you're done and everyone is quiet, the silence is deafening as, the loudest, as it's the loudest thing in the world. Your body caves in on the weight of all your negative and judgmental thoughts. So we crave every single person to yell and cheer us on because what could be better than that? But all the cheers melt together and hum, and it's so silent. We forget that the sweetest moment is not when everyone is cheering. It's, instead, it's only when a handful of those people are because you know they are your family, and they aren't just there for a performance, but for you. We need to learn to enjoy not just the peaks and dips, but the ride in the process of life. Grabbing all those coins in our pockets and purchasing experiences, no matter where they fall. They will add to our lives as we are not a highlight montage. We are a journey full of steps, this is why when you leave here today, you shouldn't be eager to pack up that box, but rather appreciate and understand everything in it, since even the bad areas add to us. With that being said, I can stand here and be grateful to anyone that has affected me in any way. Whether I like you or not, I can say thank you. change for once in my life it's gonna feel real good gonna make a difference gonna make it right as I turn up the collar on my favorite winter coat this wind is blowing my mind See the kids in the street, but not enough to eat. Who am I to be blind, pretending not to see their needs? A sound was different. 
Okay, thank you, Jonathan Gutierrez, for your wonderful salutatorian speech. Um, before I begin, oh wait, my name's Sydney. Um, I'm this year's uh, salutatorian for LCPA. Uh, before I begin, will my uh, family just go ahead and wave so I know who I'm talking to? All righty, I see you. All right, so I'm gonna say thank you because I would not be here today without you. So thank you mom for wiping away every tear and giving me big hugs when needed. Thank you dad for instilling in me the confidence to go after my dreams. Thank you for my grandparents for giving me a home away from home. Thank you to Aaron and Sean for instilling in me the values of a true leader. And thank you to my teachers for always showing me that I have a lot more to learn. It is because of you that I have become the woman standing here today. So honestly, I had a very hard time writing this speech. Every time I opened the computer and saw that blank page, I started reminiscing about those late night English classes and trying to write those essays, and I quickly closed it down. <laughs> what was I supposed to say to the people I spent four years with? What was most salient about our Lincoln experience? So I started with reminiscing. How about talking about English class with Henderson and the wonders of Cornell notes? How about the Black History Month assembly and our little impromptu drum solo? <laughs> or what about screaming the lyrics of first day out at prom? But then I had the realization, most of those memories will fade and although I will always look on to them fondly, I don't think that was the most important thing in my high school experience. So, what about knowledge going through all of those classes and sitting in there for eight hours a day? But then, really, how valuable is learning how to find the minimum of a quadratic equation? So, then I turn to my relationships. Of course, me and Iris are going to be best friends forever, right? But then I realized too, 
that really how often does my mom contact her, teach, her, contact her friends from high school? Finally, I had the epiphany that all those, all of these things may not matter in the end, they ultimately culminated in the lessons we learned and gained from high school. So what did I learn? Take risk. Ugly, no one will remember those ugly outfits you wore to school or that dumb speech you gave at graduation. <laughs> Trust in yourself. I believe that every person sitting here today has the abilities to achieve their dreams if they had the confidence in themselves to do so. And finally, take the advice of others. I know we're all headstrong teenagers and we think we know everything in the world, but really, we don't know much. And looking back on these four years, I saw that there were many times that I had held myself back. I didn't want to apply to crazy competitive colleges. I didn't want to go to a state orchestra, and I didn't want to do the IB program. But here I am, standing here today, going to Yale. silver medal at stake orchestra and a graduate <laughs> and a graduating member of the IB diploma candidates so taking these lessons as guidance i think lincoln has really prepared me for the next chapter and new adventures in my life but always remember you can call your mom if you feel a little lost <laughs> Thank you. Good evening, everyone. My name is Zara Hassan, and on behalf of the senior class, I would like to thank all the amazing people that make Lincoln College Prep an amazing and incredible place for students to grow and learn. To the faculty, for the vision they lay out for LCPA and the wisdom that they bring. To our teachers, who give their each and all every single day, pushing us to do our best even on the days when we are all on the struggle bus. And to every member of every family representing the senior class, your support, sacrifice, and dedication has not been overlooked. We thank you. Tonight, I stand before you with the great honor of being the valedictorian for the LC LCPA Class of 2022. Thank you all, thank you. Now, while I did work very, very hard and invested in my education early on, it wouldn't be fair to say that I completed this journey alone. First off, I would like to say alhamdulillah. And, and um, I would like to thank my friends, inside and outside of school. Um, my fairy godmothers, Miss Bishop and Miss Holly. You wanna wave? Hi. There they are, <laughs> back there. And Miss Rawa and Miss Afra, who are also sitting there. Can you guys wave? Right over there. <laughs> there they are. And I would like to express my most heartfelt gratitude to the most important thing to me in the world, my family, my siblings, uh, my parents, Inas and Rasul. Can you guys wave? Okay, they're all, they're all sitting in the corner right over there. Yeah. Can we get a round of applause? Thank you. Okay. Uh, they're my biggest inspiration. They sacrificed so much for my siblings and I, immigrating to the U.S. around 20 years ago. They left behind their own lives, their families, for my siblings and I to have a better shot at life. They've supported me unconditionally throughout my academic ventures, and I couldn't have done it without them. So thank you. <laughs> Class of 2022, we, we made it. Yeah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
Many crazy dance battles, false fire alarms, and heated Drake versus Taylor Swift discussions, we did it. And after today, we are all officially, or at least supposed to be functioning members of society, adults. And I'm not here to sugarcoat anything. The world can be a dark and cold place. But I think it's gonna be easier than I be, so that's one thing. That's one. And each and every single one of you here carries a torch of passion in your hearts to light up the world. So go out there and make something of yourselves. Don't worry about having to confine yourself to a single path in life, one that may bring you the textbook definition of success. Success is very subjective, and every single one of you can mold it to apply to your own lives. Know that whatever obstacles you may face in life, remain determined, and they will pass. This phase of life has passed, even though many, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> even though many of us felt like it wouldn't back in November when we were writing our HL essays for Ms. Fowler, but that passed and so will many more. Congratulations class of 2022. I wouldn't have rather gone on this journey with anyone else and I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. Thank you.
Superintendent Mark, Dr. Mark T. Bedell, will you please join me at the podium? On behalf of Lincoln College Preparatory Academy, it is my honor to present to you the 2022 candidates for graduation. These students have met all district and state graduation requirements to be considered a graduate from the Kansas City Public School District. Dr. Bedell, I invite you to the podium to give your remarks and accept our graduating class of 2022 from Lincoln College Preparatory Academy. Thank you, Principal Foster. It's, it's a difficult, just in my mind, a difficult situation to just think about everything that's happening in this world. And, you know, we talk a lot about how we need to operate with love and compassion. And I think about what happened uh, near my hometown. I'm from Rochester, New York, and what happened in Buffalo with all of the senseless things that are going on in this world. And, you know, I think about everything that you all have been through over the last couple of years your education being interrupted during March of 2020. You were then put into a situation where you had to go through your junior year in a virtual format. And then when you came back, you were in a hybrid model. And then this year, having to navigate the vast majority of this school year, having to wear masks and having to go home and having to quarantine and all of those things, and yet you're here today. And I think that's something that we all need to give you all a round of applause for, for being here today. <laughs> to all of you, all of these family members, friends, relatives, parents and guardians, you showed us a tremendous amount of grace over the last two years. You didn't come into board meetings and destroy us over whether we mask or not. You didn't come into board meetings and destroy us over what needs to be taught in our curriculum. In fact, there are many students in here that took advantage of our Latinx heritage courses and our African American history courses because we believe in developing well-rounded children who will be able to function in this society at a high level. So I wanna thank each and every single one of you and my remarks are very short because we want these kids to get across the stage so you all can celebrate tonight. But here's what I want to say to each and every single one of you. You've just done a hard thing. You graduated from high school during the COVID era. And I know that you will have the ability to do other hard things. The hardest thing in your life right now will not always be the hardest thing. Your plans are going to change in ways that are good, bad, in ways that challenge and frustrate you, in ways that excite you. You won't be on the exact same path five years or 10 years, and guess what, that's okay. When I graduated in 1997 from college, I thought I was going to play in the NBA. I got invited to five NBA pro camps, went to one, did not get a phone call. Now I'm with a college degree and I'm completely lost. Even though I know that I was supposed to be an educator, I tried to run away from it. But I leveraged basketball as a means of allowing for me to connect with so many in this community. There are going to be things that you live through that you wish had never happened to you. But those are also the things that determine who you will become. All of us have unique paths that we have to travel, but you won't, have to, you won't achieve success on anyone else's timeline but your own. You're going to spend a lot of time wondering why everyone else seems to have it all figured out. Eventually, you're going to realize that there are more who haven't figured it out than those who have. That's when it starts to get easier. And finally, when you're at a crossroads with someone on a different journey, remember to treat them with love and compassion. This world needs a lot of love and compassion. We have grown cold-hearted and callous to the atrocities that happen in our communities, and we need you all to be the change makers. And now, what everybody has come here for tonight, upon the recommendation of the administration and faculty of Lincoln College Preparatory Academy, I seek the authority of the chair and the school board of the Kansas City Public Schools to confer upon each of you a high school diploma 
with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto appertaining. Members of the board, do you accept this class? We do. We do. Thank you, board. As superintendent of schools, I certify that these seniors have met all of the requirements set forth by the Kansas City Public Schools Board and the state of Missouri. By the power vested in me, I hereby declare the class of 2022 to be graduates of Lincoln College Preparatory Academy. Arlene Alvarez Soria. Alexa Shirley. Anna Vita Davis. Melissa Martinez Diaz. Samuel McDonald. <laughs> Zara Hassan. <laughs> Sydney Richardson. <laughs> Aurora Potter. Jonathan Gutierrez. Jonathan Hylas Lasse. Pamela Salazar. Indigo Nelson Fry. Evan Martinez. <laughs> Jafar Al Hassan. <laughs> Elliot Abnos. Manuel Reyes. <laughs> Wells Marcus. <laughs> Isabella Alcantar. <laughs> Vanessa Hernandez Cruz. Sergio Aguilar Mendez. <laughs> Zoe Harvey. <laughs> Ellie Harris.
Carmen Beta. Iris Church. <laughs> Naomi Kriege. <laughs> Fatima Flores Velasquez. Candelaria Beatrice Barrigan. <laughs> Honor Christensen. Yes, Megan Vandehey. <laughs> Reese Pratt. Eva Parsons. <laughs> Madeline Merrigan. <laughs> Sophia North. Jameson Ross. Zachary Story. Kale Wolf. Braxton McCarty. Keziah Stevenson. Crystal Brown. Marleya Thomas. Sanai Tyler Franklin. Malia Strong. Kaj Pippen. Sydney Binder. <laughs> Alicia Kelly. <laughs> Isai Jackson. Vanessa Reyes. <laughs> Leslie Orozco. <laughs> Sarai Remigio Garcia. Joy Smith. Marcus White. Aiden Smith. Antonio Jones.
Anna Karen Trejos Herrera. Nadia Alvarez Prieto. Stephanie Ta. Dahlia Altamiri Tanrano Garnica. Chinmoy Dev. Aiden Sullivan. Victor Loma. Emma Snyder. Wesley Kimnitzer. Emery Miller. Elizabeth Snyder. Lena Alsaman. Anna Johnson. Dariana Reyes Marquez. Kevin Bowie. Darius King. <laughs> Naomi Madrano. Lottie Eldridge. Emma Rivera. Keon Gines. Sydney Robinson. Thomas Kelly. Lewis Moten. Isabella Mendez. Sulima Angel Flores. William Morris. <laughs> Aaron Velastigi Cabral. Jaysha Nicholson. Charlie Kohlmeyer. Andrew Cruz Angel. Naomi Shepard. Dejanay Moore.
Amira Hafiz Thompson. Ten win. Kelsey Garcia. Kalise Love. Sydney Vasquez. Asani Pugh. <laughs> Tracy Bradford. <laughs> Unity Gray. Christopher Fry. Alana Brooks. Braden Lewis. Jonathan Lopez Ruiz. Alexis Ferrer Gallindo. Austin Daniels. Jorge Laura. Maxwell Penrose. Vashanti Montague. Amari Buchanan. Saimani Nimrod. Soraya Roberson. Reagan Reasoner. Trene Stokes. Shams Al Habara. Zina Al Hassani, Charlie Khalifa, Noor Albasan, Siani Williams. Cheyenne Harris. <laughs> Ivan Reyes Aragon. Alexis Perez. Alexis Ruiz. Yeah. Alex Chapo Rodriguez Romero. Darwin Carcamo.
Andy Calderon. Sala Shikadin. Kelvin Lee. Rosalind Elizalde. Brianna Corona. Ingrid Viescas Velo. Sulema Flores Dominguez. Alexandra Godinez. Juan Pisano. Yaretsi Aguirre Camacho. Cassandra Perez Oropesa. Dante Callens. Adrika Gillum. Trisha Marquez. Jayshawn Stovall. Anthony Laura. Kiera Free. Anthony Alonzo Solis. Oliver Eulert. Alhor Haydar. Leah DeWitt. Joel Ramirez. Jara McMiller. Quentin Nichols. Jonas Clark. Jalissa Martinez. Leslie Hernandez. Isabella Bernal. Eric Sainz Quintana. Robert Hill. Spencer Timmons. Courtney Spencer.
Ariella Fiegan. Jordan Ashley. Jahan Stuckey. Michael Henderson. The Evan Roberson Parker. Jaden Sutter. Niasia Wright. Jacob Bailey. Luke Davis. Manana Nureni. <laughs> Samara Said. <laughs> Jamie Lopez. Salali Soria Mendez. Kaylee Jimenez. Cortez Trailer. Mayan Charity. Jude Anderson. <laughs> Geraldine Garcia Moreno. <laughs> Carmen Canto. Sanaya Best. Mariah Angelo Slaughter. Adam Godot. Demetrius Barnes Jr. Demarion Washington. Jason McCain. Justin Pearson. Zachariah Abdul Qadir. Wahim Manor. <laughs> Brendan Hurd. Victor Santana Gutierrez. <laughs> Haley Webb. Carolyn McKay. <laughs> Helen Lee. <laughs> Trishelle Jones. <laughs> Jones. 
Dakota Lee. Aaron Bailey. Karame Arredondo Solis. My Fong Tran. Kimmy Din. Dan Din. Daniel Kano. Alexis Reyes. Raul Nichols. Brandon Flores. Frederick Kaufman Schmidt. Logan Fuller. Dexter Nodlin. All right, we are so close. At this time, I would like to conclude this evening's ceremony. In continuing with the tradition that began with the graduating class of 2021, at this time, I would like to ask our student body president, Jonathan H., to step up to the podium. Jonathan, please join me. Hello, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Jonathan Alaslase, and I am the student body president for this year. Uh, before we move on to this last portion of this graduation, I wanted to make some final remarks. To the class of 2022, congratulations for reaching this point. It has not been an easy journey, but we made it. We've dealt with a lot as a class. More than just COVID, we've had to adjust to novel and new things. However, that did not stop us. We pushed through, we persevered, and now here we stand, waiting on the next challenge. To everyone that came here today, please join me in a round of applause for these amazing graduates who have stood strong against some unimaginable conditions. <laughs> now it is time for us to return the favor for uh, so it's time for us to return the favor. In recognition of the support that we have received from staff who have made it their mission to help us, parents, teachers, and more, graduates of 2022, please join me in a round of applause for those who have enabled us to reach this stage. Uh, I'm gonna borrow an idea from you, Sydney. Uh, I'm trying to find my mom. Mom, if you could please raise your hand. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I just want to say to you, Mama, that you have been my person that has been in my corner as a great source of support, and I want to thank you for your amazing, unconditional, instinct-like love and support. I have been thankful to receive the support of many, but without you, I know for certain I would not be standing here today. <laughs> Graduates, this is, the moment this is the moment your life changes. When you step outside of these doors, you will stop being judged solely on the weight of your potential, but on the strength of your actions. 
I encourage you to take any grievances that you have accrued over these past four years and use it to fuel your progression from here on out. This is but the first step in a journey of a thousand miles. The journey is long and arduous, but it is worth it. And now, as your student council, student council president, I would now like to invite the class of 2022 to stand with me as it is time to conclude our summer meeting with the turning of the tassel. <laughs> Please join me in this honored tradition as we move our tassel from the right to the left, signifying our graduation as LCPA students. Congratulations, we did it, yeah! Thank you, everyone. This concludes our ceremony for this evening. As the graduates exit, we are asking our audience members to please stay seated, and we can say their farewell. <laughs>